here's your flying products, and now I've got Mr. Mike Makepeace here. Good morning. <laughs> All right. Mike, uh, whatever, it is. whatever it is down here at Lake. Mike, this is uh, another of the uh, Fisher line. What's this one called? It's called the FP-404. This was the first little biplane that they did. It's the predecessor to the Classic, which was a, basically a two-place version of this airplane. Okay. Now, this aircraft here, does it follow the same uh, lines as the Fisher as far as construction? Yes, it's all wood, uh, genetic wings, uh, strut braced. Uh, oddly enough, it looks like a parasol till you get the bottom wings on it. Okay. And what kind of building times are we looking at for the average person then? Oh... It'll vary from person to person, but an average probably of about 500 hours. It'll be from 350 to 600 hours, depending on the person. What, uh, am I going to need any special tools to do it? Well, you're going to need a screwdriver and a pair of pliers, and a 3 8 and a 7 16 wrench. A little modeler zone saw is real handy, and a piece of sandpaper and a drill of some kind. Um, the, uh, it's all wood then? Basically, you'll see a little metal in here, the wing struts, the landing gear. The motor mount uh, are all metal. Uh, it's all 6061 T6 aluminum. You talk about motor. What uh, motor is it set up for? Motors are, is it set up for? Primarily the Rotax system, uh, the 447 to the 503. We've had them built all the way down to a 277, and I've personally flown one with a 277, but it's not a real strong airplane. With that if you were going to build one yourself, what engine would you recommend? 503. 503. With the 503, what kind of performance uh, are we getting? Climb, cruise, we're, stall? We're talking about a takeoff roll of about uh, 90 to 95 feet, a climb rate of about 750 to 800 feet a minute, 70 roughly miles an hour cruise speed, stall speed around 30 miles an hour. Ground roll on landing, depending on the pilot whether you have brakes or not, anywhere from 100 to 125 feet. Yeah. What kind of fuel do we uh, generally carry? Two cycle. Uh, no, how much uh, oh, capacity? Five gallons uh, was what we got started with because at one time this was built as an ultralight. If you want to go to the experimental model, we've got an eight gallon tank of it. Okay. Now, the covering materials on the wings, is it standard uh, aircraft covering? It is stitz. Uh, in the kit, you get the stitz fabric, you get the polytac glue. We use this several different processes on them, but uh, the finish would be up to the customer. Okay. Now, when the kit's delivered to my door, I've got a set of assembly manuals that are coming with it. Uh, what size are the blueprints and stuff like that for it? The blueprints for it are full size, and all of the instructions are written on the blueprints themselves, so that there's not really a, a manual per se. It's all on the prints. Okay. Now, this is not a new aircraft. This was uh, built... I uh, don't even remember the exact date. About 85 was when we got the first one out. 84, 85, somewhere in there. So how many of them are actually out there flying or in customers' hands right now? That I don't have any idea. If I were going to guess, I'd say there's probably 500 of them out there somewhere. Okay. Is it available as plans as well? or no, just, just no as it's kids? only available as kids. Okay. Well, thank you very much for your time then, Mike. Okie doke. Have a good one.